Hello boys and girls, my name's Tom and this is Safe House. I'm joined this week as ever by my faithful co-host and good friend James Pickard. Hello. Hello. Um, yeah, we're going to try out a new format today. We're going to try and condense everything down, make it a little more streamlined. Uh, and we've got a competition winner to announce at the end of the episode, along with some news which y'all gamers out there might find interesting. But first, our big news story of the week is the Batman. Everything happened with oh the Batman. Oh my god, so many Batmans. So, first things first, um, new Joker. Uh, Jared Leto photo of the Joker has popped up, posted by the, that, the guy, Ayer, David Ayer? I, the director, <laughs> the fellow who's directed Suicide Squad. Um, he's posted a photo of Jared Leto as the Joker. Um, he's all sort of tattooed, slightly ripped, he's like got he's grills. He's got him. grills. He's got damaged tattooed in his head. That's a bit on the nose. I felt. I'm. <laughs> I like it. I'm going to go out there and say I like it. A lot of people kicking off. They're all going. Oh, why would you? Why have you ruined the Joker? I, don't I, think... I love it. I have, I have no strong feelings either way to <laughs> I be am that guy. ambivalent. <laughs> um, I, I don't think it looks shit. I think it's kind of interesting. Yeah, I'm really intrigued to see where they're going to take it. Because if they just done another Heath Ledger joke... Oh, yeah, that would have been, that I mean, would have been shit. That would, yeah, we've that done that. Lazy, we've seen yeah. that, yeah. And and someone uh, put a thing on the internet. It was like an evolution of the Joker in cinema. Mm. And it was... Uh, I mean, they didn't include Cesar Romero, but if they did, he was just sort of more mischievous than really anything else. Yeah. He was just a mischievous clown. Mm. Um, but Jack Nicholson was the gangster. Heath Ledger was the anarchist, whereas Jared Leto is the psychopath. Like, he yeah, is... Yeah, he looks pretty mental. He looks like he is going to ruin someone's day. Yeah. Uh, and also, uh, for Suicide Squad, um, Ben Affleck was recently seen on set there were some set photos coming out with uh, Will Smith as Deadshot although not oh, in yeah. Deadshot costume um, but yeah Ben Affleck has apparently been spotted and then they tried to cover him up by putting a blanket over him for the next time he came out of his trailer but you could see where the blanket was resting <laughs> on the little ears so <clears throat> so I think uh, I think we're going to see Batman in mm. Suicide Squad so that's going to tie in maybe uh, maybe Joker will be making an appearance in the Justice League movies which Pretty hype. Yeah. Well, DC have got to pick the game up a bit. DC so. have got some work to do. In the movie department, at least. Yeah, they are. What, what are they doing? Oh, it's not <laughs> great, no. And especially after how good um, Avengers mm. Age of Ultron was, which we went to see uh, shortly after the last episode aired. Mm. And gosh darn it. It's pretty good. Bloody good film. Good. Strongly suggest it. Arkham Knight yes. is another thing from the Batman. Mm. Um new trailer came out the All Who Follow trailer um, looks like there's a new system which they're calling Dual Play mm -hmm. which allows you to GTA 5 style switch between characters of the Bat family so when you're hanging out being Batman all is well but then maybe you're in a fight maybe you're thinking you know who'd be better in this fight Catwoman you just bring you just press a button Catwoman's there and then you can play yeah. as is Catwoman Robin and Nightwing um, which I imagine means it's Tim Drake Robin, because I think it was Tim Drake Robin in the last one. Let's see, yeah. Yeah, um, yeah. I'm looking forward to it. I mean, yeah, I mean, the, the previous trailer got me more hype than yes. like seven minute gameplay trailer. That was pretty impressive, and it just had everything, yeah. But like everything they could make epic. Yeah, it's getting did. getting progressively better as it goes on. Mm. Uh, apart from. Oh. Um, the DLC um, season pass yeah. has come out, and now <laughs> fool me once, Rocksteady. <laughs> I've paid for your season passes before for Batman, and they've been garbage. Was that um, Origins? Yeah, that wasn't Rocksteady. Oh right, that no was... one talks about Origins. No, Origins it's really funny count. because they do. They talk about um, Arkham Knight, and they're like, it's the epic conclusion to so the, the Arkham tr trilogy. Yeah, and it's like, wait, hang on. <laughs> Yeah, it's some other good. some other jokers made um, Origins. Arkham Origins, so they've kind of just it wasn't got rid of great. It. But, but yeah, the Arkham Knight DLC, thirty-three of your English pounds, thirty-three quid. You can buy the so, game for that. You can buy a game for half that price at the minute if you go through certain channels. Yeah. Um, why would you? And, and it's it's apparently got story missions, whatever they are, you don't know yet. Which will probably be like what um, the Cold Cold Heart from Origins. Mm. So it's going to be like an hour long. 
You hope do, with Rocksteady though they won't they won't think yeah, about it now. Do like two missions. Well you say that, there was the um the Robin DLC for City, the Harley Quinn's Revenge DLC, and that was like two hours long. Oh. Dick about for a bit, fight a boss. The end. Well, thank you. Yeah, so <laughs> um, and then yeah, challenge get, map skins. You get challenge map skins which people like, but surely about ten years ago I would have got these just for playing through the game. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Um, and who gives a shit about skins so much? Yeah, I mean, don't get me wrong. Weird. I like the the Batman changeable skins. I like mm. to be able to go, oh, look, I'm Gotham by Gaslight Batman, or I'm like Batman Beyond kind of thing. But I'm going to give you 33 quid for that privilege. I will cope with whatever default skin they've put on it. In it. I think that was it. It was challenge maps, story content, which we don't know yet. Yeah. Skins. Oh, and races. Oh, there yeah, races. Races for the Batmobile. <laughs> that was it. So you can turn it into Forza. Thirty-three pounds. There's probably a Gotham City racing joke in there somewhere. Yeah, somewhere. Project Project Gotham City. Fuck it. <laughs> right. So on to the uh, the quick fire round. Mm-hmm. So we're, that's that's the new format. It's the new format. We're going to do a big section on the main news of the week, and then all the little stuff. We're just going to reel them off. Reel them Speed off. Speed round. Speed round. Lightning round. So here we go. Um, Konami, they fucked it, didn't they? Um, <laughs> Konami, after parting ways with um, Hideo Kojima, uh, they've cancelled Silent Hills, which looked brilliant. Flip, flip tables. They've cancelled Silent yeah. Hills, so no, no Silent Hills coming out of that. It's basically going down the Guillermo yeah, Toro was at a thing and said, "Yeah, it's not happening." It's not Norm Reed's tweet, it's not it. happening. Um, yeah, Konami, there's, there's a kind of weird. And people have been reading into it. Hmm. And people are kind of thinking that they're actually moving out of games, games development, and to because because all the money that they make from games development hmm. is, a, is a chunk of their income. But they've got all these other things they do, and they've started making in Japan gambling games or like mobile games oh. with gambling things, and that's making them more money. <laughs> so they're thinking they're they're phasing out their game development to focus on this focus on Japanese on... mobile gaming with gambling elements bullshit. Outstanding. And pachinko machines. Oh, well of course pachinko machines. Because they want money yeah, and they don't want to do exciting creative who, projects. Who needs creative freedom when you can have money? Um, a games company that isn't driving their career into the dirt. Telltale have um, announced that they're doing a project with Marvel. Mm. So we're going to get one of the Telltale story driven games themed around Perhaps the Avengers, perhaps the Inhumans. I mean, they've got enough. They've got enough groups, properties. They, yeah, to I mean, find something. I suppose because obviously it's not movie based. So, with uh, recently the Fantastic Four finished mm-hmm. the comics, so they've they've ended now. Yeah. So maybe that's how they'd carry it on. The Fantastic Four story, which I think would work really well in Telltale form, because it's sort of a small group. That can then have problems to overcome and like all character points of view as well. Yes, you can play as any different. That's form. it. You can sort of switch around to um, you know do an episode of Reed, an episode mm. of Sue, a bit of crossover. Be nice. Telltale are nailing it. At the minute. Telltale so, are super Game nailing it. Borderlands apparently good. Yeah. yeah um, More Walking Dead's come in. There's mm. a Minecraft one we talked about. Yeah, yeah there, there's going to be a Minecraft one which I will happily play because I like mm. a bit of Minecraft. And they they are working on a. Um, Original IP as well. Outstanding. But they haven't said anything. I'll, so E3, I'll play it. E3? E3. It's happening. Mm-hmm. Um, on the Marvel buzz, X Men. Uh, X Men Age of Apocalypse. There's been a new set photo. Where, well, it's sort of like a, a set photo specifically taken almost like promo. But it's not quite promo. Social um, media. <laughs> yeah, of um, Jubilee and Jean Grey. Um, Sansa Stark. Sansa Stark. And someone else. And yeah, it looks really good. I'm, I'm feeling it because it's set in the 80s uh, because they're following the first. Is it, first this class. is Apocalypse, yeah? Apocalypse, yes. yeah. They're following the first class group, so it's um, mm. obviously as it was the last one, like first class was 60s. Um, retcon. X Men. Days, Days of Future Retcon was <laughs> um, 70s. This one is set in the 80s. Um, Oscar Isaacs is going to turn up as Apocalypse and ruin everyone's day. I really like Oscar Isaacs. I really like Oscar <laughs> Isaacs. I'm very much looking forward to mm. uh, to a lot of projects he's got on the on the go. He's a good man. He is a good man. Right, there's going to be a, a more, more movie news. A weird crossover is mm. in the works. Um, the 
Guys behind 20, 21 Jump Street and 22 Jump Street. Still need to watch 22. I also need to watch that. I've heard it's very good. I think it's on Netflix. Oh, okay. um, <laughs> have they've they've recently said? Well, we're gonna do we're gonna do a couple more, right? They're gonna do a new one which focuses around a different set of Jump Street agents, uh, female agents. So it's gonna be uh, sort of all all girl cast kind of thing. They're gonna new Ghostbusters it. They're gonna new Ghostbusters it. Um, oh. So that's gonna come out. They haven't announced a lot about that, other than that's the plan. Um, and then also the. Channing Tatum and Jonah Hill mix, uh, they're going on an adventure because they're doing a crossover with Men in Black. Um, yeah, so whether they're going to drag Will Smith and um, Tommy, Tommy Lee Jones. Jones. <laughs> someone, I don't know, I've got to try and remember it now, but someone said hmm. a funny thing on Twitter about Tommy Lee Jones, and it was Tommy Lee Jones always looks like his son's told him he wants to take up professional unicycling. <laughs> <laughs> He's just got that. <laughs> Serious. <laughs> I, I love Tommy Lee Jones. Mm-hmm. Maybe we'd even get a bit more, a uh, bit more Josh Brolin. Oh, please! <laughs> Just young, young, young Jay is perfect. Nailed it. But yeah, so thus concludes this week's lightning round. There were a couple of other bits and bobs going on, but nothing mm. super worthy of, uh, of pointing out. Nope. Um, so yeah, we've been running a competition recently on the social medias. Mm. Um, with our good friends over at Insert Coin Clothing, and we have a winner. Uh, the winner, who we compiled all of the the list of people who have retweeted, followed, liked it, shared it, subscribed on YouTube. We put everyone in a big old spreadsheet. We threw a random number generator. I watched him do it. He did. They threw a random number generator at it, and the winner is Mia Honey, who followed. Well, well done, Mia Honey. Well done for pressing the buttons. Well done for pressing the buttons. She pressed two buttons. Press the follow button and a retweet button. Oh shit! That's it. <laughs> so there you go. So um, yeah, we'll be in touch to hook you up with your fifteen uh, pound gift voucher. Spend it insert coin clothing. Bosh. Nice. Um, and then bit of news. A uh, bit of news about us. Mm. Um, we have recently been accepted into an affiliate program with Green Man Gaming. Top blokes. Top blokes at Green Man Can't Gaming. Win. It's a um, it's a website where you can go and buy PC games. We have a discount code, and that is a twenty percent off code, which we're going to put in the description below, uh, yeah. down there somewhere. It's in the words. Um, there'll be a link with it. You just click the link, go through. You can type your code in, get yourself some games on the cheap. It they've works got, with GTA 5. Yeah, they've got Mortal Kombat there. 10 on there, 10. which I have actually been playing today, and is bloody good. Bloody good I saw game. Saw some of the fatalities. Oh, they're grim. It's fantastic. I love Mortal Kombat. So, <laughs> yeah. So um, we're going to be running some some things with Green Man in general. Mm-hmm. So keep an eye out for codes. If we throw up a link, just click through it and put in a code and get yourself some games. Yeah, all the games. All the games. It'll be awesome. Off. That's about it for this week. Um, got some more content on the way. Got some events lined up. Got some good things in the pipeline, which we'll tell you about as the time comes. So yes, uh, thanks so much for watching and we'll be back next week. See you then. Bye-bye. Bye.